Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. Today we are diving into an app called Hyper Notes and we can start off by looking at the pricing. So Hyper Notes is developed by the company Zenkit which offers a lot of different productivity tools but they have a free plan, a plus plan and a business plan. And on the free plan you get up to two notebooks uh, uh, and you get two members per notebook. You get 600 megabytes of uh, files and attachments. You get 10,000 notes. You get multi-level outlining, bi-directional links, tasks, and even reminders. On the plus plan, which is $5 each month if billed annually or eight if billed monthly, you actually get 30 notebooks. You get six gigabytes of files and attachment, unlimited activity history. Uh, you get 80,000 notes uh, and you also get email to notebook, which is coming soon. For the business plan, you get a million notes and 60 gigabytes of files and attachment. This is actually a lot of notes and you get unlimited notebooks. So the free plan also gives you 10,000 notes, which is more than enough to actually try out the app uh, and uh, up to two notebooks isn't that bad but i would personally have to use uh, more than one but this free plan is a lot better than for example evernote's free plan that i know a lot of people have uh, been using and are looking for something else. This is quite similar in the layout to something like Evernote using notebooks, just like Evernote does. Uh, and I love the design of the app. I think it looks really beautiful. You can move the notebooks into folders. Uh, and I will just give this a new title. We can call this test notebook. And I could give this a description too. Now let's just jump into the notebook and this is called new page. So let's call this test for YouTube and let's try the backslash commands just to see how they work. So backslash, you have page reference, you can actually reference a block, you can add tasks. Uh, so we will call this test task and create a task um, and we press shift enter and you get the test task and this should probably appear in our tasks and it does you have daily notes inside of here as well which i know a lot of people do love so you can add daily notes to your different notebooks uh, you have um here you can see my pages inside of here with the uh, amount of works, whether or not it has tasks, if it has a comment when it's created and when it was last updated. And here you can see all of the different pages, but you could also see how things are connected together. So if I go in here again and I add a new page, so we will call this second second test page and I will actually give this a task as well so task uh, take out trash and shift enter and here we go and I can do a page reference I will uh, use the test for YouTube page and I should probably press uh, shift enter and then we have the test for YouTube page I can jump back into this um, so this is a really beautiful looking application and it is really easy to use as well uh, it is really easy to use as well which is amazing and you can see all of your tasks up here you can add comments and this is probably a lot more approachable than some of the other apps on the market here you have how things are linked within that notebook uh, and here you have all of your tasks and here you can see the pages in sort of a more of a database view i would say uh, and here you can see them in more of a notebook view you as i said you also do have um, 
block referencing, which is something I am a big fan of personally, because it you end up duplicating a lot less, so I can reference the block that I put in the first page, as you can see here. And you can see where this is mentioned, so you get the backlinks here as well. And again, a beautiful feature right here. You can keep on adding new blocks as you go. Uh, one more thing I wanted to check out is whether or not this works with Markdown, and it does not. Um, so that is a minus, but most of us do not actually need a Markdown. You can add latex, code, code blocks, current time, current date. You can embed uh, external links and you can even add tables and drawings inside of here. I want to test this out. So you can actually draw inside of this as well, which is an amazing feature. Uh, so it has a lot. I would say that it reminds me probably m uh, more. Um, it reminds me more of something like uh, OneNote rather than Evernote and it comes in at a really good pricing. Here you can favorite different notes and this could work as an all-in-one solution for your productivity as well, both with the daily pages. You could use this for journaling for example or use it as an inbox or you could use it uh, with uh, the tasks here and just use the tasks and you have backlinks and you can search within a notebook as well which is a really cool feature and i would say that you probably will need more than one uh, notebook but uh or more than two notebooks which is available on the free plan but having the ability to test this out for 10,000 notes on the free plan is really good. Uh, within 10,000 notes, you should probably have figured out whether or not this app works for you. So you could, uh, in my opinion, I would probably add a notebook called Inbox and I would just put everything inside of there and I would move, move it from that Inbox. I can check off the task here just to see that it shows as done in here and I can check this off as well and it makes a beautiful sound uh, which is uh, pleasing. So it looks like they have paid attention to the details and whenever a task is checked off you can see that it disappears from here. Let me just show you that as well. So shift enter, uh, new task. Um, testing tasks, uh, we can create this, shift enter again. If I now jump back into my pages, you can see that it shows that I have one task here. Once I have checked this off and here I can add due dates, reminders, assign them, add notes, attachments and so on. Um, so let's just try this out. This should be done by tomorrow. Uh, repeated tasks is a plus feature, uh, but as you can see, it should appear in my tasks right here, and here it says tomorrow, so it has that as well. Once I've checked this off, it disappears again, so great attention to detail, a beautiful looking application easy to work with, quite easy to learn it seems like. I have played a little bit around with it uh, before I made this video and I think this deserves a lot more hype than it is getting. It feels like it has everything you need for a note-taking app like this uh, and it is pretty much easier to learn than most of the other note-taking apps out there. So if you're looking for a notebook system, a digital notebook system, and you want to easily be able to take notes and have notebooks and put different notebooks into different filters, this is probably one of the best apps for you. If you're looking to switch and go away from something like Evernote, this is an amazing option. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below and I will try to get to them as soon as I can. Thank you so, so much for watching today's video.